Mary Weiss. I'm a director of the Friends of the Westfield Library in Wilcox Park. I'm also a member of the Audit Committee of the Memorial and Library Association and on several other nonprofit boards here in Westfield, Rhode Island. I'm a retired attorney who read to my children when they were growing up. I've been asked to share with you my favorite children's book, which is Harold and the Purple Crayon, which was first published in 1955. The author is Crockett Johnson. The book is my favorite because of its themes of imagination, creativity, and overcoming challenges. The themes are told in plain language with simple illustrations and a simple purple line on a white background. There are no adults in this book. There is only Harold, a little boy, a bald-headed boy, and a narrator. Harold draws with a purple crayon, creates adventures, some quite frightening, that he meets head on, wielding his purple crayon. Harold's journeys begin when he decides to go for a walk in the moonlight. But there is no moon, and there is no path to walk on. So Harold draws them. Along the way, he creates a frightening dragon to protect his forest of one tree, an apple tree, a sailboat to rescue him from drowning, a picnic lunch of nine of his favorite pies because he's hungry, but then he can't finish them, so he draws a mouse, excuse me, a porcupine and a moose to eat them. He draws a mountain to see better where his bedroom window is because he wants to go home. He draws a hot air balloon because he starts to fall from the mountain that he's been on into thin air. He draws a building, a city full of buildings with windows looking for his own bedroom window and a policeman to find out where he is. All this is done, as I said, to find his way home. He got there because he remembered that his bedroom window had a moon in it. The book ends with Harold sleeping on his bed with a purple crayon in the floor beside him. Just curious, what would you do if a dragon was tracing you? I have a piece of paper here and a purple crayon. It's up to you. Have fun.